Hi my loves, it's Lucid Simmer and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. This is the speedcast of my founders for my Lucid Legacy Challenge. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the Lucid Legacy Challenge is actually a challenge for the Sims that I created. It is a 10 generation legacy challenge that focuses on a good variety of gameplay in the Sims. If you would like to watch a video overview of the entire challenge as well as a deep dive into each generation, I will link that video for you in the description below. Or if you'd like to read a written version of the challenge, I will also leave a link below to the Tumblr post that has the entire challenge written out. But yeah, I'm really, really proud of this challenge and how it came out, and I'm so, so excited that the first ever gameplay series on my channel is going to be of my own legacy challenge. I am also even more excited now that I have already made the founders for my first generation. And yes, I did say founders with an S. And since this challenge does involve maxing out skills and completing aspirations and things like that, I am only going to be focusing on one of these sims for completing the challenge. I did want to start this challenge with a married couple as opposed to a singular sim like most challenges are started. Just to be clear, you don't need to start this challenge off with two sims, that's just how I'm choosing to do this. But that being said, let me introduce you to our two founder sims. So this sim that I'm working on right now, the wife, her name is Faye Wild and her pronouns are she her. Now she does end up looking a lot different than what she looks like now. Looking back on it she does look so beautiful like this but the only issue for me is that she looks like almost every other sim that I tend to make. Most of my sims have a deeper tone with brown or just relatively darker hair and I think especially from the sims that I've made more recently she looks a lot less like them. If you happen to see my One Base 5 Sims video, which I will also link down below, I actually made one of the Sims in that video blonde. It was the first Sim that I made and I thought she ended up coming out really cute. It made me realize that I don't usually make my Sims blonde and I don't know why. I guess I don't really have a reason. I just don't tend to gravitate towards lighter hair colors in the Sims. So as you will see, see in a little bit, I did end up making Faye a blonde. At first I was just trying it out and I didn't really like it for a while, but then once I started playing around with it a little bit more, I ended up really liking how she looked and I just didn't want to change it back at that point. I did keep the darker eyebrows, the darker eyes, and a bit deeper of a lip color for her, and I really love how it ended up looking with the light hair, the lighter skin, and the darker features. But I really hope you guys like how she ends up looking. I actually really love how she looks. I think she looks really sweet, and the outfits that I ended up picking for her are really, really cute uh, cottage core items. Of course, as always for both of these sims, all of the CC that I used for both of them will be linked in the description box below. So if you're looking for some cute cottage core CC, then definitely check out the CC that is linked. I honestly feel like I could call this a cottage core lookbook video. Specifically, Faye's everyday outfit is just the cutest cottagecore vibes. It took me a little while to figure out her outfits, but I think it was worth it in the end because I really love all of her outfits. I did end up giving both of these sims the country caretaker aspiration, as well as the loves outdoors and family oriented traits. As far as cast goes for making the sims for the first generation, those are the only requirements, that aspiration and those two traits. So technically speaking, either one of these sims could be the founder for this first generation. But like I said before, I am only going to have one founder, so that is where I will 
will turn it over to you guys. I would really appreciate it if you could comment below and tell me which one of these sims would you like to be the founder for the first generation. I personally have my preference, but I would be fine either way, and I thought it would be fun to see what you guys think. So it is time to introduce the other sim for this generation, and this is Silas Wild, and his pronouns are he, him. Making Silas was a lot easier than making Faye because for him, I really had a pretty clear vision of what I wanted him to look like. I wanted his style to be a mixture of traditional with some casual outdoorsy looks mixed in, and I knew that I wanted him to have red hair and a cute short little beard. He definitely came out exactly as I pictured him, which is always nice when that happens. The only thing for him that I ended up going back and tweaking a bit was the swatches for his clothes. Except for the jeans, I struggled a bit with the jeans and I ended up picking a pair that was already in my game. I believe it was from the Nifty Knitting Pack, but I'm not positive. But usually when I'm in CAS, I keep the custom content filter on, so that's all I'm looking at because I just have a very large collection of custom content at this point, so I usually can find exactly what I'm looking for out of that selection. But yeah, for this sim, he actually had in-game jeans that ended up looking really great on him. It was exactly what I was looking for. I am so, so excited to start this challenge and start gameplay finally on my channel. Gameplay videos are my personal favorite videos to watch from other simmers on YouTube, so I'm so excited to be joining that type of content as well. I am actually going to start recording that first episode once I finish filming this voiceover, and I'm still not 100% sure on what I want my gameplay style to look like, but I'm sure it will change and evolve as I go, and as always, I would really love any feedback you guys have, and you can always leave that in the comments below for me. I always really appreciate it, especially because everyone has been so, so kind since I have come over to YouTube, and I appreciate that so much. And actually, on the topic of appreciation, I want to say thank you guys so, so much for over 800 subscribers now. As I'm filming this, I have 875 subscribers, and that doesn't even feel real to me, considering that the first video I put out was only like two weeks ago now. I honestly didn't think that my channel would grow this fast, and of course, we still have lots of room to grow and expand and improve. I'm just feeling so grateful for each and every one of you, and I cannot wait to keep growing with you guys. It's really just so exciting for me. I also do think that my legacy challenge is going to play a huge part in that. Not only the gameplay that I'm going to be posting on my channel, but just the love that this challenge that I've created has gotten since I posted it only three days ago now. I actually can't believe it's been only three days since I posted the rules for the Lucid Legacy Challenge. I feel like I'd just been working on it for so long and just anticipating actually releasing it and telling people about it. The response has been really, really great. Obviously, I'm not this big YouTuber or have a huge following, but I really have received a lot of love the past few days on my challenge that I made, and it just feels so good, especially after how long I worked on it. So thank you so, so much. I really cannot say it enough. I actually did end up getting a couple things to celebrate, not only the release of my Lucid Legacy challenge, but also just being on YouTube for a couple weeks now and just really letting myself be proud of myself because I don't think I'm great at doing that all the time. So I actually ended up going out and getting a new microphone, which is what I am recording this on now. Hopefully some of you noticed and it sounds a little bit better. 
but that being said I am still testing it out and I can return it still so let me know what you guys think of the audio quality in the comments below because if you guys like it then I will definitely be keeping it and I would really appreciate hearing from you guys on that. It did take me a little while to set up this new microphone and kind of play around with it and see what sounds the best so I'm hoping I did everything correctly but for someone who now posts gaming content on social media I am surprisingly bad with technology. <laughs> it can be very frustrating sometimes but yeah I just hope I didn't mess anything up with setting up this microphone. I will say about this microphone my cat has been loving it He's pretty good to leave it alone while I'm recording. I think he sees that I'm using it and he's just such a good boy that he leaves me be. <laughs> but when I'm not using it, he'll just be rubbing his face up against it and he's still pretty gentle so I let him do it and it's just really, really cute. So going back to Cass for a second, I am about to make Faye a blonde like I mentioned before and I did go back and forth a bit for how light I wanted to make her features since at first she had more of a medium toned skin and I considered going for a very pale look but I'm not a huge fan of the skin tones that are in the game. I do really love my custom skin tones that I use which will be linked with the rest of the CC. But with that being said, the custom skin tones that I use don't have great options for super super pale skin. So I did end up going for a very light warm toned skin and I think it complements the blonde hair very well. She just looks very light and bright and warm and she has this very welcoming, loving look to her. Another thing about Faye, just like Silas, I did end up going back and changing the swatches for a lot of her clothes. At first I did have a lot of browns and rusty deeper orange colors and I ended up going for more of a yellow and tan color combo for her. I still like how the darker colors looked but I think it just washed her out a bit now that she had lighter skin and hair. Something you'll definitely notice from my cast style if you haven't already, I always tend to stick to a specific color palette for each of my sims. I don't know why I do that necessarily. I of course did it a lot when I played the Not So Berry Challenge, which is a very popular legacy challenge that I actually completed about a year ago now. And of course for that challenge, each generation is assigned a color, so it makes more sense for that. But I also tend to do it for just my everyday sims that I make, even before I started the Not So Berry Challenge. So like I said, Faye's colors are a lot of tans and yellows and warm toned light neutrals. Silas has some more medium toned neutrals. I did go for a green color scheme at first, but I actually figured that for gameplay and screenshot reasons, their environment is going to be very green already. Of course, they live and work on a farm, so everything around them is going to be very green, so I ended up changing Silas's colors more so that he would stand out from that background. And speaking of them being farmers, this is probably a good time to talk more about this first generation of the challenge. So I will go more into their specific backstory in the first episode of my gameplay, but basically they are newlyweds, Faye and Silas Wild. They had a beautiful, lovely wedding and they are now starting up their own farm. And this is going to be a full-blown family business. They are going to grow crops to sell, tend to their animals and sell products from them as well. 
fall, they will be selling some homemade food that they make and things like that. They are meant to live more of a quote-unquote traditional lifestyle. Of course, that means different things for different people, but for this generation, that means they are going to be having children, at least three to be specific, and raising their family on this farm, and really just living a simple, wholesome lifestyle. And I really hope that their looks complement that part of the story. I think that they definitely look like a sweet, young, married couple who is ready to start their lives, and that is exactly what I was going for, so I hope you guys can see that as well. As for their house and the farm that they're going to be living on, I'm not doing a video on furnishing that only because I am not doing too much to the build. It is actually going to be a build that I get off the gallery and of course I will give the creator proper credit once I start gameplay but I will be refurnishing the house that I download and will most likely be using some CC in their house so I will do another Tumblr post just with some nice screenshots throughout their home as well as the CC that I use, so that will be posted alongside my first episode for gameplay. So if you notice anything in the video that you would like to download for your Sims home, you can head over and I will try and make it pretty easy to navigate what you want to download. I've done this style of linking CC for a few different houses that I made. I did one for the first generation of my Whimsy Stories Legacy as well as an updated version of that same home and if you're curious to check either of those out they're both linked on my tumblr i am super excited to show off their home i actually used the same build when i first tried out the cottage living expansion pack back when it first came out but of course my furnishing style as well as my personal taste has changed since then so it's really cool to see the same build and the different ways that I furnished it. I just thought it was interesting and I really really love how their home came out so I'm so so excited for you guys to see that as well. We are coming up on the screenshots now so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to vote for which sim, either Faye or Silas, you would like us to focus on for gameplay. Thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye loves.